Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to connect MySQL PHP My Admin database and bind records into a grid view control. And here we got the final output. Notice the employee table is binded to the grid view control. Let's check the table also. See here the employee table, employee ID, first name, last name, and email. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new project. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I'm choosing web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is connect bind mysql. Okay. And from the templates, I'm choosing empty. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding one web form. Right click the project name, add new item. I'm choosing web form. The web form name is MySQL Connect. Click add. And here we got the source page of the newly created web page MySQL Connect. Now between this form tags I'm adding, I'm adding center tag h1 how to connect mysql php my admin database and display records in a Review control. Horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I'm adding one grid view control. Open toolbox. The grid view control. That's it. We have done the designing part. Right click the mouse. View code. Now first thing in this code behind, I'm adding some namespaces to connect my database using system.data using system.configuration Now the last namespace I'm adding the MySQL DLL library but in ASP.NET we need to add the MySQL DLL library package into our project references folder Let's add the MySQL DLL library. Open Solution Explorer. I'm expanding the references folder. Notice here there is no any MySQL DLL library. Let's add that. Right click the references folder. Manage Nudget Packages. From the browse, type MySQL. And from the results, I'm choosing the first option, mysql.data. And the version I'm installing 8.012. Install. Click OK. I accept. And here the mysql data is successfully installed in our project. Let's close this output window. Open Solution Explorer. Notice in this references folder, mysql.data DLL library is added. After adding the DLL library in the references folder, switch to the code behind using mysql.data.mysql client. Now we can able to connect mysql database. After adding the namespaces, next we need to add the connection string properties in the web.config file. Open Solution Explorer. I'm minimizing the references folder. 
web.config file open that one now in this web.config file inside the configuration I'm, I'm adding connection strings add name is equals to I'm giving my connection string name which is my connection connection string now in this connection string I'm adding data source is equals to the first parameter of the data source is a local host semicolon port number to find out the port number of my SQL PHP my admin let's visit my SQL PHP my admin database and notice at the top the server my SQL 3306 is a port number let's add that one 3306 semicolon the next parameter is the initial catalog initial catalog is equals to the initial catalog is a database name the database name is a sample db sample db semicolon and the next parameter i'm adding user id is equals to root and the last one is a password is equals to if you don't have password just leave it like that or if you have any password just add your password semicolon the last parameter is a SSL mode is equals to none that's it we have added the connection string of my SQL PHP my admin in the web.config file let's switch over to the code behind in the page load event string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding and my connection name is my connection copy that one I'm adding here dot connection string my SQL connection I'm creating an object for the my SQL connection class SQL con is equals to new my SQL connection I'm adding this main connection object string SQL query is equals to the SQL query is a select statement select start from the table name is employee table just copy this one and paste it after adding the select statement now we need the mysql command sql.com is equals to new mysql command which takes two parameters one is this sql query and second parameter is the connection object which is the sql con sql con let's open the connection string sql con dot open method my sql data adapter sda is equals to new my sql data adapter i'm adding sql command object my sql command object data table dt is equals to new data table sda dot fill method dt let's bind the grid view control grid view one dot data source is equals to dt data table object and the last one I'm adding that data bind method. Let's close the connection string SQL con dot close method. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Let's check the results on the browser Google Chrome. And here we got the final output. Notice 
The employee table is binded to the grid view control. Let's check the table also. See here the employee table, employee ID, first name, last name and email. That's it.